So we decided, well, what can we do in two weeks? And so we went and wrote a game. It took us about two weeks. It's under 10,000 lines of code for this entire application. So again, a single click in here builds the application, loads it up, and runs it right here on my iPhone. It's actually connected in the debugger as well. So I'm just going to tap to start. As you can see, this is an OpenGL game for graphics. It's an OpenAL for audio. Now the question is, how, how do I fire at, this, at these uh, ships? Because we're not using up a, a big chunk of the user interface here for buttons. Uh, we have a great touch screen, so I can just tap anywhere to fire. But the next question is, well, I don't have a joystick on here or any uh, four-button toggle control. How do, I, how do I steer? Well, we've got a full three-axis accelerometer built in here, so all I need to do is move the phone around. And now I'm steering it. Now we're talking. So, it's fantastic. I mean, this is, you know, two weeks of work, less than 10,000 slides of code. Now, one thing that developers, and oh, I, I should point this out, since we're using OpenAL, as I move it back and forth, you can hear the audio move around, right? So, OpenAL gives you full, you know, positional audio, 3D positional audio. Now, another thing that developers really love to do while they're building an application, especially games, is optimize. So I'll keep this running, and go back to my Mac here, and I'll bring up Instruments. So as I said, Instruments is our performance tool. I'm going to measure the graphics performance. So I'll choose right here on the OpenGL ES template. I will choose the live running application, which is Touch Fighter, and just click Record. Now, it is live recording the application as we're playing it. So it's live recording the frame rate. It's actually sampling the whole time all the calls that are being made. So as I move it around, you can see we're getting around 30 frames per second. I go ahead and fire. So live while you're running your application, while you're playing your game, you can be measuring all of the performance. So let me go back to my Mac here, and I'll stop that recording. Now, not, not only did it just record it, but it also, it, it's, it saved all of this. So if I want to go and look for where my peaks and valleys are, I can see, well, here we're at 19 frames per second. Clearly, we can optimize this and make it better. Well, I can bring up the stack trace right there on the right-hand side. You see, that's the stack trace of exactly what was happening at that point in the gameplay. I can use that to dive down optimize the code, and make it even faster. So this is what we could do in two weeks in less than 10,000 lines of code to create this application.